plows have been out all night salting and clearing streets and we're hoping that that leaves you with a clear commute this morning. And from what we've seen and experienced, it's been working this morning. Let's get right to CBS 2's Mike Puccinelli, who's live in the Mobile Weather Lab with a look at the current conditions from the roads. Mike, we hear you've seen those plows out, plows out there, that is, this morning. They're doing well. Yeah, we're about 60 miles northwest of the city right now in McHenry on Route 31, where they actually got 10.8 inches of snow here in McHenry. The highest snow total that we've seen so far. We've been in Elgin. They had 7.9 inches there. But looking at the roadways, they're actually looking quite good. You can see, obviously, a lot of snow off to the side of the road. But it appears that they've done a pretty good job. We are seeing some issues right now with blowing snow on some of the more rural highways. And as you can see right here, as we get towards the shoulder, that could pr perhaps use another pass by the plows. But right now, things appear to be looking pretty good. We might even have a salt truck in front of us right now. Earlier on Route 31 in Elgin, we caught up with one of the salt spreaders and also the plows that was probably making a second or third pass on a roadway. And that's one of the reasons why you could see so many sparks being churned up as the blade was hitting the pavement, which at this point didn't have much snow left on it. But they, of course, are trying to make sure that the roads were ready for the morning rush. The good thing is that this particular snow event happened early enough where there weren't many people on the roads and so it really kind of gave the plow crews an advantage as they were trying to get ahead of it without having to deal with too many people congesting the roadways. Bottom line, definitely even though the roads look good, slow up because you never know when you might hit a patch of black ice. Reporting live in McHenry, Mike Puccinelli, CBS2 News. Marissa, Roseanne? All right, Mike, we'll check back with you in a bit. Thank you.